one. All right, so this is a Pontiac Solstice, a GXP, and we are going to be adding um, in some little levers, uh, seat belt, brackets, seat belt holder to hold in the seat belts, just so it doesn't cut behind the seat. So first, my assistant here will bring the seat forward. Now lift the lever and roll it forward. And we're gonna expose the back of the seat. So you gotta unzip the bottom, the top on both sides. That's one. Okay. I'm gonna take this flap here and it has a little flange that overlaps, so it slides in. So you're just gonna kind of pull it, slide it off, and it pops. And then you just kind of pull that back up to slide it back in and then reset at the end. But so pull that up. Next piece is this outer piece is really what we're replacing for, so that it'll have a long arm to catch the belt. So we're gonna, we, in order to for this piece to come off, we need to remove this because we're going to retain this to be added back in later. So if I can swap places. Right, so before we can remove this, I'm going to take off the tension from it just by reaching in with a set of needle nose. You can see where it's already pinched down and it's got to provide a little bit of tension and then that should pop right out. There you go. And that'll just uh, be waiting for you to put it back in, so. All right, so now that we took off the uh, the tension rod there, or the, the wire, we're just gonna wedge in a flat head screwdriver and, and give a little tap, and that pops this out for uh, future use. Get that flat head screwdriver back, and then when you come into the back side here, this uh, little lever will remain, but what you're taking out is the housing here, and that's the, the main thing that we're replacing. So it has four tabs, so you just have to, you know, to kind of pry and pop and push them from both sides. So it it's a little tricky to kind of like work around, but basically the, the main point is to pop it right out. Okay. All right, next we basically take the um, replacement component and we're gonna dry fit it in. It'll, this one only has a little flange here that's gonna catch it and a screw hole. That screw hole does not yet exist. So what you're gonna have to do is take a look here and we're gonna drill a hole through the metal and also cut a hole in the fabric so that when it's done, it'll sit in the hole like so. So when we first started drilling, we started in with the 732nd and we moved to the 316th and it still was too small. So we went up to the 532nd and that was just perfect. So now, uh, all right, for, to get the, uh, the screw through, cut a little hole just with a um, razor knife. And then I pre-drilled with a 732nd uh, and I'm gonna go to a 316th, slightly bigger to accommodate the size of the, um, the bolt. So we're at the final stages. You have the flange here that goes in the hole that you know was held uh, by the original. Bring up that swing arm, fit through. Your screw is gonna go through the hole we made and then through the hole in the upholstery and finally through the hole that we just drilled. Uh, tighten it in and then the last piece is this handle that fits back onto that. Just slide it, push it in and we're done. So you reconnect the tension back into here with a pair of you know needle nose and then we'll just fit on that last um, outside piece and you're all done
Here we are. Here we go, right back as it was.